And I am really, really happy to have joining me, and we'll, we'll do kind of musical chairs here and, and, and move Lynn over here. Lynn Rocky Regan has um, graced us with their presence, and it was kind of on short notice, but um, I am really glad that she was able to break free. I know she's been in meeting after meeting after meeting, um, but this is really an important subject, and I know she knows and cares a lot about this. Tropic Care 28 is going to take place um, at Maui County. Um, it's going to be August 11th through the 19th, and I love this. It's medical checkups, eye exams, eyeglasses, dental exams, fillings, and extractions, all at no cost. Now, how fabulous is that? And um, this is a great, great gift to the community. No ID card, no insurance needed. And um, it's almost you. too good to be true, you know. It is, and it's at the college, UH Maui College, Old Hana School Cafeteria. Uh, Wyola Church in Lahaina, St. Teresa Church in Kihei, Mitchell Paoli Center in Kwanakakai, and Lanai Gym in Lanai City. So tell me the backstory on this, Lynn. First of all, thank you. Lynn works so hard. You've dedicated your life to serving oh, no. um, the community. You have. You do wonderful things. Well, you know, I was born and raised here um, in Wailuku, and, you know, I've been so blessed by the people, our residents, um, just our community in general, that this is just one small way of giving back. Well, you do. And I'll, you, you, you work very hard, and right now you're working as an assistant to the mayor? Yes, uh-huh. And Mayor's uh, chief of staff. And um, this is one of the many projects that I'm taking on um, as the Tropic Care Incident Commander. So we're really thrilled that the military uh, selected Maui as a joint service training uh, venue uh, led by the Air National Guard and supported by members of Air Force, um, Army, Navy Reserve, and Marine Corps Reserve. Um, it's basically a, a, a training session. Uh -huh. They use these venues um, throughout you know, the, the country um, as, as a way to apply what these, these um, military professionals have, have gained over the years and apply their, their experiences and training to serve the public. So when something Tropicare. like this happens, what group, contact, who contacts you? And is this is a moving uh, regular service that travels around the country? And how do they yes. decide how to come here? And, and, and what, how does that all work? So I'm like concerned. a month or two ago, they went to the Big Island. Uh -huh. um, they've gone to, I believe, Kauai. Uh -huh. And they go to other places throughout the the nation to apply their services mm -hmm. and and serve the public. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Now, this is this is a military medical group. Is it one particular part of the military or no? Is it's it's a variety of all military um, agencies. Um, they have trained personnel such as dentists, uh, physicians, um, optometrists, and they all come together. Are assigned at the very last minute. And they're told, many of them probably don't even know at this point that they're coming to Maui. Really? Yep. Because it's it's an innovative readiness training. Oh, so so they have to have them be able to be ready on call in yes. case there is a disaster or yes. something that happens. Where, exactly. But it's not the National Guard. Um, it's, it's the groups that were mentioned, um, Air Force, Army, Navy Reserve, Marine Corps Reserve, and Air National Guard. A combination. Yes. Interesting. Where do you put them up? It sounds like a lot of people come. Yeah, right? it, I mean, you know, thanks to our our hardworking logistics committee, um, comprised of people from the county as well as the state Department of Health, we've secured um, bed down locations. So, for example, in Central Maui, we have the no cost health care services provided at Uni University of Hawaii Maui campus, but because schools in session. You know, we can't let them s sleep there. Mm -hmm. So we're utilizing um, the armory right above Baldwin High School as a place for them to sleep. I think some of the hotels should <laughs> donate their rooms to them. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just saying they're coming here. I think they deserve really nice, you know, as if they were celebrities. I think yeah, they deserve that would, celebrity that would be great. services. But, you know, as part of their training, mm -hmm. they need to be able to camp in pretty much yeah, any location, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. 
And I bet a lot of them just like coming to Maui. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it's like, oh, tough job. You get to go to Maui. Um, and so do you know how many are going to be coming? Do you have any idea? There's approximately 350 soldiers, Whoa. sailors, airmen, and Marines. That many? Yep. Mm-hmm. And they're oh, going to be coming. Oh, I thought it be about 30. Probably I... next week already. I yeah. had no idea it was that many. It's a lot because we have yeah. six different locations at all the si- you know, all happening simultaneously. Wow. And a variety of services, not just medical but dental, vision, you know, and and they need support staff, people to cook meals for oh, them. I hadn't even thought about that. So it's a that. whole diff- whole new operation. Wow, I hadn't even it's thought a major so they operation. actually while they're at their site and I'm going to repeat the locations folks cuz there's a lot of work going into arranging this. UH Maui College, Old Hana School Cafeteria, Wyola Church in Lahaina, St. Teresa Church in Kihei, Mitchell Paoli Center in Kawanakakai and Lanai Gym in Lanai. I'm glad you didn't forget the other outer islands. That's a good that, and, and, and important service there as well. So when they get to their location, they stay wherever they're told to stay. They go out and they start working and they actually eat on the site. They don't even get to go out and try the food trucks. I know it's not. They, they eat on the site, huh? Yeah, pretty wow. much. And they're just there all day working away. Mm-hmm. Yep. For, and they're not getting paid for it. No. Wow, that's an amazing service. So it's a wonderful opportunity for not only our residents. I mean, if visitors also want no-cost health care, anyone is eligible wow. because they don't need an ID. They don't need proof of insurance. It's open to anyone and everyone. Without any judgment. Yep. That's wonderful. Now, there's a few things that are very important that we wanted to talk about. Um, they're looking for, you're looking for people to volunteer. So what are you, and the volunteers have to be 18 years old, um, 18 or older. Yeah. Uh, what kind of volunteers are you looking for? So basically, a lot of people from, you know, the medical um, industry have reached out to us wanting to offer volunteer services. But... That's not necessarily the type of services we want. Our volunteers can be anyone and everyone, as long as they're 18 and above, to provide a friendly face, a welcoming, um, aloha uh, attitude, you know, um, Mm -hmm. and just basically welcome and answer any possible questions that people seeking the services have. So when you've done this one, I think this was done before, wasn't it? Yes, it was done in 2013. I remember that. And so it's been a five-year five, a five year time. What were the questions? I mean, as I remember, there was a long line of people waiting for services. But I don't think you had it as long as this time, last time I think came. it was shorter. Yeah, and, I think it was um, shorter. I don't think there were as many venues, possibly, yeah. as, as before. Um, you know, some of the questions could be where maybe they have four teeth that need to be extracted because many of them have never been to a dentist. Really? Maybe they haven't been to a dentist since the last Tropicare. Wow. Or maybe they've never had a physical before, but they need to. So many of them may need multiple services, uh-huh. vision, medical, um, dental, all at once. But to just provide you know, more opportunity for as many people to obtain the services, um, we're kind of limiting each visitor to these locations one service a day. Mm -hmm. So if one person needs four teeth extracted, maybe rather than taking up a dentist's like entire morning Mm -hmm. to extract the teeth, um, we would encourage them to maybe, you know, pull one at a time Mm -hmm. um, over a four day period and then maybe get dental another day or or get vision Mm -hmm. services on another day. Because it's a nine-day period, right? Yeah. So they have ample time to kind of spread right. out the services so we can serve more people more each day. Yeah. And, and, and it also will keep that way the lines from being too long. Right, exactly. You know? um, so the people know when they can come that there's some place. Um, are you going to have tents or what are you going to do? Are you going to have them? I guess obviously the church is, is, is self. And, and Teresa, you have two churches here so people can stay in the church. And there's a cafeteria. So... And at the college, you don't know yet probably which building that's going to yeah, be. Yeah, it's going to be in Holly Buildings 216 to 221. Oh, you're going to have a few. Yes. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Four four different? Yeah, because the services need to be separated. Oh, good you know? point. Yeah. Um, yeah. And for privacy reasons, I mean, we can't have everyone under one big tent. Yeah, I know. That's a good point. What about, I mean, medication? Because some of these people are going to need to have some antibiotics maybe or something that they... 
to? Are they allowed to actually prescribe, or do they have to send them to a um, some other place to have a prescription? Do you so think? So we'll provide a prescription. We'll provide prescriptions, and they're um, going to be given a list of providers who can fill those prescription, oh, prescriptions. Because that, that's important too, yes. as well, right? Uh huh. And, and it's it's really going to be an amazing learning experience. So so the volunteers needed. You just need people to kind of be there to be able to help out. Um, but if there and there's, you know, there's a wonderful nursing training program going on at the college. That, that I mean, these people have to do yes. some work to help uh -huh. to get the, fulfill their requirements, right? So I'm sure some of them are going to want to help out too um, to learn a yes. situation like that, right? Anyone and everyone mm -hmm. is encouraged to volunteer. We need help desperately at all six locations. How many people are you looking for as volunteers? Do you think M maybe like three hundred? Oh. More people. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is a real need. Yes, <laughs> it's not yes, just definitely. A <laughs> and people can, you know, volunteer multiple days if uh -huh. they want because, you know, we're really in need of services all nine days. Yeah, and it's really it's from each area that because you, yep. you've got the area pretty well covered. You've and got we'll have Hale refreshments, oh, Cindy. Oh, well, that's good. We'll provide a T-shirt to all Aww. volunteers. So what does the T-shirt say? Have you seen it? It's a, it's a Tropicare logo. We created, thanks to uh, the County of Maui's uh, communications person, Kehal Deutsch. Oh, um, isn't she, that nice? She used her talent, you know, her graphic design skills to create this beautiful logo. Oh, and you can be proud to wear that. Yes, showing a true help definitely. As a, yep. as a volunteer. Yep. Well, what's the best number for people to call if they wish to be a volunteer? So if they wish to volunteer, they can call us at 270-7855. That's the mayor's office. Or visit us online. Um, there's a sign-up sheet that they can sign up online to make things easier. Um, so the website is mauicounty.gov, G-O-V, forward slash Tropicare. mauicounty.gov, and that's G-O-V, slash Tropicare? Yes. Okay. I mean, this is a big thing, folks. Um, 300 people, and I know there's lots of people out there just kind of thinking now. They're listening, well, maybe I would be... So let's give them a little more parameters. If someone wants to volunteer, do they have to do the whole day, or are there certain hours they can volunteer? No, there are two four-hour shifts. Oh, that's good to each know. Each day, so see, you can folks, sign up in the morning. See, folks, it's not all day. It's just two yep. four-hour shifts. You can do that. Yep. And we'll have refreshments, like I said. <laughs> yeah, you know? poo poos. Yeah, <laughs> we got, <laughs> got poo poos. That'll draw them in. But you know, I wanted to. Uh, use this opportunity to thank uh, the State Department of Health yeah. for really partnering with the County of Maui along with um, the Community for a Drug-Free Lanai on Lanai for really taking the lead and helping to organize the Lanai Tropic Care site. Um, Maui United Way, which is our fiscal agent, Maui Economic Opportunity um, for providing the transportation because when these 350 wow. people get here, yeah. you know, at Kahaloi Airport, they're going to need transportation. Oh, yeah. We're not going to rent them cars, you wow. know. So MEO um, went out of their way to offer transportation for all the military personnel. So wow. a big shout out to MEO. Oh, definitely. This is a huge, huge operation. Yeah. And, and it's, and it's going to do so much good for so many people. You know, there's so many people out there that just don't go because it is very expensive. Yeah to yeah. sometimes get um, health care you need. Yeah. And and for some people, you know, it's just impossible. And I really feel for families that are large families because I'm going, how do you do it? So that brings up the next question. Children as well? Yes. It's okay. open to anyone and everyone. Because that's extremely important as yes. well. Because if you have children and, and, and it's so expensive and you're thinking, I can't afford to spend $100 to take them to a dentist, or it could be more, right. um, this is a chance to get that done. And I think it would be an extremely... Um, learning important experience for a child to see how something like this happens, to see how people help out yep, in I situations agree. like this. And, you know, if any of the kids um, need sports physicals, because school is starting oh. next week, um, if they need sports physicals to be in certain sporting um, teams, uh -huh. uh, they need to bring their school form, and the Tropicare personnel can provide, can do these sports physicals for the See, kids I at no charge. I hadn't even thought of that. That's a very, did someone call, call in with a question like that? That's an interesting thing I wouldn't well, have it's thought a, of. It's a major service, yeah. you know, major need for the uh, parents who have kids who want to join sports teams. So we're going to want everyone to tell someone else and kind of spread this out there and get the word out about this because um, 
it isn't very often like it's been five years since this has happened and to be able to have the service August 11th through the 19th volunteers four hour period of time is all that's needed and you'll be helping people get some service that I'm I I am sure the people are going to be so grateful and so thankful um, for this service you know I can't help but think that they're going to bring some lovely gifts or maybe lasers and fruit or something <laughs> so knowing the aloha spirit there's going to be a lot of aloha shared back and forth here definitely from, for the people that are providing this service definitely right? and in 2013 um you know in appreciation for the services that the military provided a lot of the residents dropped by with food that they prepared you know which <laughs> the military graciously received uh-huh. um and enjoyed so, you know, that's one way, an expensive way to thank them. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, absolutely. Really and it can be a life-changing thing. Someone might just yep. see something like this and going, I want to get involved in being a doctor. This is the kind of work I would oh, like definitely. to do, right? Yes. You know, or, or I'd like to be help. And if you can't even do that because you're at the age where it doesn't make sense, you can certainly volunteer your service to help those who are really doing it. Um, I, I want to switch hats for a second. Um, I know that election early, early voting is already underway, and there's probably some confusion. Um, in the past, early voting um, has taken place, and it's going on now. It was at the county building before. Um, this year, it's not at the county building, folks. So, I mean, that was an overwhelming 5,000 people showed up last time. So, um, this year, the early voting's happening at the Waiduku Community Center, um, and it's going on now. So, this is um, important to vote, of course. Um, but it's not at the county building, so I wanted to bring that because we know how important voting is. Um, the primaries are happening August 11th, and um, there's, this is really something you need to all be involved in. And if you've got your absentee ballot, you should get that in. Did you know 50% of the people voted by absentee ballots last That's year? That's great. Or but you know what? Ago. The voter voter turnout is still low. It is you know, low. So if it the is, voter yeah. turnout is low, yeah. 50% is still uh, 50% low. 50% of 50% you know what I mean? is right. <laughs> yeah, yes, so it's true. I mean, this is such a critical election, the primary election yep. is, that everyone, I mean, really should be encouraged to go out and vote. So thanks, Cindy, for uh, saying that, and, for reminding And some everyone. people think, well, I won't bother with the primaries. I'm just going to vote. No, but some of these positions are winner-take-all yep. positions for the House. So you won't, it won't make a difference if you vote. you got to vote now to make the difference because there's only... Democrats for some of the House positions, and if you don't vote now, those aren't going to come up again. I totally and, agree. And so people are confused about that. But And if you are not registered, you can still register on Election Day, which I and the primary elections, it's that's, a lot of people may not know that, but you can still get registered if you are not registered. So it's not too late. Of course, you have to have the proper ID. You have to have a photo ID. You have to have your right address and proof, you know, mm-hmm. obviously. So um, there's some people that have gotten a little cynical about the voting process. And um, I've been here enough times covering the elections where I see how close some of these races are. And I have to say, people, every vote counts. I've yeah. seen it so many. You've seen it oh, definitely. so many times. We're going, wow, what? Did people just assume yeah. it didn't matter that they didn't vote? And it's just like, no, it does matter. I totally agree with you. And, you know, there are instances where people say that, oh, yeah, they'll just vote in the general. But their candidate doesn't even get past the primary. Exactly. You know, yeah. and it's because they didn't vote in the primary. So yeah. a friendly reminder to everyone, please go out and vote. And that's also on the, um, is that Maui County elections? Or I'm trying to think if I have it on the one piece of paper. Um, there's an Office of Elections there's or office. County Clerk's yeah. Office. Yeah. It's easy to find yeah. mm-hmm. if there's any questions. And there's very good information there as well. Yes, definitely. Now, changing hats one more time. You as a person do a lot of creative things. You're a very, very busy person. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've been doing some interesting things as well. You're very on top of what's going on, and you've done your own site, which tells people on, on about what's happening. Are you still doing that Yes. Site? Uh-huh. Um, it's called CalendarMaui.com, and my whole purpose in doing it um, was really because, you know, many of us are so involved in the community with numerous organizations our intent was to really create like a clearinghouse. So as one organization is organizing or contemplating organizing an event, you know, they can go onto the website and see what's already planned and then post their event so that when other organizations plan things, they can see that their organization, that this other organization plans things. This is so important because you've seen, and I've seen sometimes a great event will happen 
and the person has it all planned. Let's just say an ag fest, okay, because that's huge. Um, and a lot of people come out to that. Well, then some other event happens, and people don't realize the ag fest is happening. And they plan something the same day, you know, in the same area. And right. all of a sudden they're going, well, I don't know why anyone didn't show up. It's because that was happening there, you know. Right. And, and we've seen this, and this is really important as we've also continued to grow with these events. And nonprofits are really trying to struggle to create their own events yeah. because they need them as fundraisers. So having Calendar Maui um, as a resource before you plan any event um, really is important. Yeah. And don't wait until you're ready to publicize it two mm -hmm. weeks prior. No, no. You know, you no, need to post it <laughs> even a one year prior. Yes. I mean, just post it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and the website is? CalendarMaui.com. CalendarMaui.com. Now, you've been doing that for a while now. Yeah, for... I don't know, 20 years? I don't, Is it I don't 20 know. 20 years now? I thought it was like 10 Time goes years. by so fast, I, I wow. can't even remember. But yeah, it was It was probably 15 to 20 years ago. Because you saw the importance of yep. that need, mm -hmm. of what was happening. Yep. And and a lot of people in nonprofits have the best intentions and don't understand they could work so hard putting something together. And if it's on the same day and the same time as some other huge event, believe me, it's going to impact you. Yeah, and you know what? Believe it or not, I get a lot of increase from visitors because when contemplating when to visit Maui, they want they want to see what's planned, you really? know. And rather than the typical luau or you know beach outings, huh. they want to they want to be immersed in our community. So they want ah. to see what cultural events, what you know history related events, what you know just community oh, gatherings are I scheduled. I love hearing that you know and it does make sense because I know you do your homework I mean I as a person who loves to travel I always go and check out mm -hmm. what's going on in yeah. a place before I go there just like we have um, Made in Maui coming up right. you know in November and that now we're starting to see visitors come exactly and attending as well as local people yeah. right yeah and of course we're seeing that in the Friday parties yes definitely and for someone who wants a real experience of what the island's about, those are the best kind of things. I totally agree, especially for for um, you know visitor repeat visitors mm -hmm. who've already been to the various typical you've been to the hotel, you've been to the luau events. Yeah, yes, right. They want more. I I so agree, and people want to know and talk to local people. They want to know what's really going on. You know, this is a, an extremely important thing. So. I highly re I go to calendarmaui.com mm -hmm. and I'm amazed sometimes Thank because you. well I like to know and talk about what's going on on the air so it's really handy Thank you. for me to to let people know and we can quickly edit it too you know what I mean like oh, versus edit? something yeah. in the magazine or you know where it's it's kind of difficult oh, to yeah. retract that could, that could take yeah, yeah. it take it could take months or weeks but but um, that's absolutely true. So, I mean, I don't know how you do it all, but you do a really good job of it. Oh. And you've been doing it a long time, and you're kind of all in the family, too. With oh, you. No. <laughs> but thank you so much, Cindy. Well, for... we have a couple minutes, and I oh, want to just review this still, because um, talking again to Lynn and Rocky Regan, and I, I really appreciate we, we're going to have another guest, and they canceled, so you came in on short notice. And number one, that's great, because I know how busy you are. But this is a very, very important subject, and it's Tropic Care 2018. And it's happening uh, real soon. August 11th through the 19th is just around the corner. Um, and it's such a great service. The military coming in from all the different services. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and medical checkups, eye exams, eyeglasses, dental exams, fillings, extractions. And the amazing thing, absolutely no charge at no cost. And there's no ID card, no insurance needed. And um, it's, a, it's on the first come, first serve basis. Yeah. I didn't get the hours on this. Do you know the hours? Yeah, so um, the hours vary. Um, generally, it's 8 to 4. Mm -hmm. But in Kihei, you know, in Lahaina, because of church, um, on Sundays, it's going to be uh, in the afternoon that from 12 sense. to 4. Mm -hmm. So um, at Kihei and Lahaina, both Waiola Church and St. Saint, Teresa's, on Sundays, it's from 12 to 4. Um, otherwise... I think, um, like on August nineteenth in Hana, it's going to be from eight to eleven thirty. But in general, the main times um, throughout the week from August eleventh through the nineteenth is generally eight to four. And it's at UH Maui College, and that's going to be a busy site. And that's going to—you have three or four different rooms where that's going to yes. happen. Yes. Uh huh. Um, old Hana School Cafeteria, 
Um, and that'll be interesting to see. That's going to be a whole community gathering of Honda people all knowing each other, I would imagine, out there. Uh, Wyola Church in Lahaina, uh, St. Teresa's Church in Kihei. Um, and it's great to see Kawana Kakai involved with Mitchell Paoli Center there. And uh, Lanai Gym in Lanai City. And um, a lot of people are needed to be volunteers. I thought you might just need a few, but you need 300 volunteers. So, folks... This is really get on the, and this is only four hours for a day. You can do more if you want, but um, if you can do four hours and refreshments are supplied. Yes, and a t-shirt. <laughs> and t-shirt. Call 270-7855. Um, really important thing to do is help out, um, 270-7855. I think it'll be a wonderful uh, Aloha Field experience for anyone that's helping out and uh, a great chance to do some good and help and meet people as well. Yes, thank you. Thanks so much, Cindy. Well, I want to thank you because I know it's a lot of work putting this together and I appreciate the work you do oh. and everyone at the mayor's office for helping to make this possible. So a very big aloha. Thank you.